Hello and welcome to Wisdom Trek. This is Guthrie Chamberlain and I am your guide to wisdom. Thank you for joining us for our seven day a week, seven minutes of wisdom podcast. This is day 44 of our trek and for the next few days we will continue our trek to look at how changing our thinking can dramatically change our lives. We are recording our podcast from our studios at Home 2 in Charlotte, North Carolina. It is being recorded on Sunday and it was good to be in town to attend our regular church today. To be part of a faith-based community where you have friends that love and care for you is important. I would encourage you to make it a regular habit to join a community of friends and family where you share common values and beliefs. We are designed to be part of a tribe for fellowship and for strength. As we continue our thoughts about thinking, we are beginning a several-day trek today where we will stop at 12 different waypoints or rest stops along our trail. At each waypoint, it will give us an occasion to reflect on how we think and the opportunity to change how we think. By changing our thinking, these waypoints will allow us to change our lives in a positive direction. Now, 11 of these waypoints that I'll be using were taken from John Maxwell's book, How Successful People Think. The discussion for these waypoints will be based on the perspectives and wisdoms that I have gained through a life of study and wise individuals that have trekked these trails of life and have provided us wisdom and insight from their journey. Before we reach our first waypoint, let us ponder this question. Can changing your thinking really change your life? As I have studied and observed wise and unwise people for nearly 59 years now, there is a distinct difference between wise and successful people and unwise and less successful people. It will usually boil down to how they think. Correct thinking is the one thing that separates the wise from the unwise, the successful from the unsuccessful. And allow me to wander down this rabbit trail just a little bit further. I think it is needed to explain a little on how we will view each of these waste points. I will be using wise and successful people as equivalents or the same. In order to do so, we must first separate our thoughts that a successful person is a wealthy person. Wealth does not determine the overall success of a person's life. Now, those individuals that are wise many times are also wealthy. This is because of the wise financial choices that they have made during their life. But there are many individuals who are wealthy financially but are not successful in the most important areas of their lives. This is because they have made unwise choices in areas that matter most. As Proverbs 28:11 says, rich people may think they are wise, but a poor person with discernment can see right through them. To be truly successful, we need to have achieved success in all areas of life. We need to have a well-rounded wheel of life so that our overall ride in life is smooth. In future Wisdom Trek podcasts, we will explore how to be successful in all areas of life. But for this week's journey, let us focus on the 12 waypoints along our trail in order to change our thinking and change our lives. The good news is it is possible for us to learn how to think like a wise and a successful person. But before we can learn from a good thinker, we need to know what they look like. For me, the primary trait of a good thinker is a person that blends their wisdom and experience into every thought that they have and every decision that they make. In addition to wisdom and experience, I believe that good thinking isn't just one thing. It consists of several specific thinking skills. Becoming a good thinker means that we are developing these thinking skills to the best of our abilities. Like a finely tuned vehicle that might have thousands of moving parts, or a beautiful sounding orchestra with dozens of instruments all playing at the same time and on the same song. Or a smartphone or computer with thousands of integrated circuits all interconnected. You can't point to any one single item that makes the whole thing work. It's the entire work, all the pieces working together to create the overall effect that leads to a masterpiece. And good thinking is similar. You need all the thinking pieces in order to become the kind of person who can achieve great things. I believe those pieces include 12 essential skills, which we will cover in this week's series of podcasts. We have taken up some time on our little rabbit trail today to lay the groundwork for the 12 waypoints that we will investigate. As with any worthwhile or difficult trek, planning and preparation are crucial for success. We will just get started on our trek today with waypoint number one. At each waypoint, I will leave you with a question that you can ask yourself to measure how your own thinking is. So our first waypoint is to cultivate big picture thinking. Now we've covered this subject matter in detail during the last two days, day 42 and day 43, If you've not done so already, I would encourage you to listen to those episodes. It will greatly help in your understanding of cultivating the big picture thinking. As we are investigating the details of this waypoint, let's expand on the previous two days. A big picture perspective brings a level of maturity into an individual's thinking. Big picture thinkers tend to learn continually, listen intentionally, look expansively, and live completely. Through lifelong learning, big picture thinkers are able to connect ideas that appear at first glance to be unrelated to one another. Big picture thinking is beneficial for people who want to become good leaders. Good leaders are able to create a compelling vision, 
a map or path for attaining that vision and seize the right moment to proceed. Sounds a lot like our treks each day. Big picture thinkers are better able to see things from the other person's point of view. They think of others first, as mentioned in Philippians 2, verses 3 and 4. Don't be selfish. Don't try to impress others. Be humble, thinking of others as better than yourself. Don't look out only for your own interests, but take interest in others too. Big picture thinkers exhibit the following four traits. Number one, they do not require certainty. When dealing with new and complicated ideas, it is necessary to accept some degree of uncertainty. Number two, they learn from every experience. It is essential to learn from both successes and failures. Number three, they gain insight from many different people. Important insights can be gained from family, friends, associates, and mentors. And number four, they are not afraid to expand their world. Although most people are satisfied with the status quo, big picture thinking requires people go beyond what is commonplace. The question that I will leave you with at this waypoint is... Am I thinking beyond myself and my world so that I can process ideas with a holistic perspective? Now, as your guide, friend, mentor, and fellow sojourner, let me know how I can help you with each waypoint as we investigate them. And that will finish our podcast for today. If you've missed any of the previous podcasts, especially days 42 and 43, which tie into this one, please check out Wisdom Trek at iTunes, Stitcher, SoundCloud, or at wisdom-trek.com. Tomorrow we will continue our trek with waypoint number two and continue to discover how changing our thinking can literally change our lives. So please join us at our camp tomorrow for another day of Wisdom Trek, Creating a Legacy. And if you enjoy these daily doses of wisdom, I encourage you to help us in the following four ways. Number one, leave us feedback about the podcast at wisdom-trek.com. Number two, if you've not done so already, please subscribe on iTunes or Stitcher so that the podcast will be downloaded to you automatically each day. Number three, if you previously left us a rating on iTunes or Stitcher, I certainly appreciate that and thank you so much. But if not, please leave us a rating so that we can gain greater exposure on those platforms and bring more people onto our Wisdom Trek. And number four, spread the word to everyone you know to join us on our Wisdom Trek. And thank you so much for allowing me to serve you in this way and I appreciate you for listening each day. The journal from this podcast can be found at wisdom-trek.com, where we'll have pictures, tweetable quotes, wisdom nuggets, and free resources. And as we take this trek together, let us always live abundantly or fully, love unconditionally, listen intentionally, learn continuously, lend to others generously, lead with integrity, and leave a living legacy each day. This is Guthrie Chamberlain reminding you to keep moving forward, enjoy the journey, and create a great day every day. See you tomorrow.